Hi hey guys, so this video is honestly really long overdue because Big Bad Wolf was over a month ago and I'm really 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 still happy and glad that they finally decided to come to KK and as you guys know Big Bad Wolf is a very like a huge book event where they they have this massive sales and yeah I got a lot of books for very cheap prices so let's get started <laughs> So before we get started with all of the books that I got at BBW, Big Bad Wolf, uh, I wanted to pop up this amazing book that I'm currently reading and I am almost done with it. I'm over 90% done and this is Educated by Tara Westover. I really, really enjoyed this book. This is a non-fiction which means that the story, uh, that all of the stories inside this book really, really happened. So this is about Tara, Tara's life, where she grew up in a very different way, I can say, where her dad was, well her dad has a different ways of thinking and he thought that like the government is against us. So basically the dad does not believe in doctors, does not believe in school, so, so all of them were homeschooled. So, it's really really interesting seeing how they kind of like isolate themselves in this in Idaho in Idaho in the mountains of Idaho and then oh I'm not focusing sorry it's happening right now okay so it's how Tara got away from this kind of very isolated life and I really enjoyed this book you know there are a lot of criticism on it but then I loved it so if you want a good book, a book about freedom, you gotta read this. Also, I would like to pop in some of my books that I just got recently, just a quick one. And this is Fresh Boys by Michael Lewis, and I got this when there was popular, like popular book sale, and it was only about ten ringgit if I'm not mistaken, something like that. It looks. This is also nonfiction. I've been into nonfiction lately, so. And the next one, when I saw this, uh, I really liked Lisa C. I remember reading her first book called uh, The Pearl of China, and it was a very long time ago. I found it at the library, and then I really enjoyed her writing. So this is Lisa C on Gold Mountain. The design of it is really nice as well, with all these flowers. Cool. And then one day I also I went to popular bookstore at Surya Sabah. <laughs> I was just like strolling around and then I I didn't think that I will ever buy anything. But then I saw this book a very it's kind of like a psychology bible <laughs> by Sigmund Freud. And this is he is a very famous uh, psychologist. I studied psychology before and I am really interested in human's mind, the way of people, how people think. So that's why I got this. And then I also got this called Life Inside My Mind. This is also non-fiction. Uh, this is a 31 authors share their personal struggles. So basically this is about real life stories on how people deal with anxiety and depression, all of these things. So this is also this is also related to psychology though. And the last one, I got this The Golden Notebook by Doris Lessing. It's still in the plastic cover. Uh, I have no idea why I got attracted to this book. When I saw it on the shelf, I just like, I gotta have it. So, this is basically just about Anna Wolf and our lives in London. So, I don't know, I think I'm being biased. Every time I see when if the story setting is in London or anywhere part of England or UK, I will definitely buy and read it. <laughs> right now, let's get into the books that I got at Big Bad Wolf. And so these are the books that I got there. There's two shelves right here, so I will pick up one by one. So the one that I'm really, really excited about is this Roald Dahl books. I got four of them. When I saw them, I was like, 
Ah, uh, I need to get them. There are so many uh, series of them, and I don't know. I just love how uh, aesthetically pleasing the front cover is. So I got this for I think ten ringgit each, which is which is really insane because usually they are selling. I'm not in focus. Right. So usually they are selling one book for over 50 ringgit. So that's just crazy sales. So I got Madness. This is Madness with a monkey in front. And then I've got Cruelty with this. Is this a boy or a girl? There. <coughs> then I've got Lost with a yeah, human in front. And I also I've got Trickery, which is still in plastic, and there's like a cat there. <laughs> right then, the next one is a love story book. It's called Last True Love Story by Brandon Keeley, and I think there are several stories inside of this. <laughs> I have not read any love story for a long time now, so so I'm pretty surprised that I actually got this. <laughs> so that's that. The next one is. Do well. This is also a love story. I have no idea what kind of mood did I have that day. I got lots of love stories book, and this is by Mark Bugard. And I really love the design. It looks pretty cool. It reminds me of the this movie about like Will, where Chris Hemsworth is in it. Sorry, I forgot the name, but it kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> The next, ooh, I really love this. History of Britain uh, in 21 Women by Jenny Murray. And this is this looks kind of inspiring, considering how they are women and then how people actually talk about them. So I'm really, really intrigued about what do they do. Ooh, Jen Austen, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's her, probably. <laughs> So I really enjoy um, a story that, that has a mixed culture, like multiracial. So this is Pao by Carrie Young. And you see there's a Chinese woman there, there's a Chinese woman there and also a Nigerian woman there. So basically, I'm pretty sure there's like a, a racial story inside. And I really love it. I wonder like what happened to both of them. Then I have the other half of happiness and I'm pretty sure this is a love story as well. <laughs> this is by Alicia Malik and I've only got it for 10 ringgit. Like look at that, so cheap. And yeah, so this is Sophia Khan's just married but no one told her her life was going to be this way. So basically it's a life about marriage. Then the next one, ooh, I'm really oh my gosh, when I saw this I was like, damn, I gotta have it. It's called Darklands by Tony Wheelers. And just look at the front cover. And I got it for two ring it only. If you look at the front cover, it is definitely something about traveling. So, basically, this is about uh, traveling along the infamous axis of evil led to Tony Wheelers' Badlands. So, ah! Uh, this this is this is this has that mysterious vibe. So I'm really I think I'm gonna read this next after I finish with Educated. Then the next thing is uh, Double Down by Louis Lane. This looks like a action story because of the girl looks seems like she's running here. And this is basically about Oh okay, Louis Lane has just settled into her new high school so it's a, it's a high school uh, kind of story and then the next one ah! <laughs> look at this one it's the Oscar Wilde collection look at that it's in the perfect box like hot cover box and it is hot covered oh my god just look at that oh. So this is his uh, collection of his greatest work, Oscar Wilde. I really like his name, Oscar Wilde. So there you go. It has 
photos like this, like very vintage looking, so cool. I am excited. Then I've got Behold the Dreamers, and I think I've seen this before in popular bookstore, but then I didn't get it. And then when I saw it, well, luckily I didn't get it because it was they they were selling it for quite a, a higher price. I have only got this for two ringgit with this hot cover. So this is by Imbolo and Imbolo Bue, M B U E, Imbolo Bue, I guess. I really like the cute design. Oh my gosh, I'm a sucker for cute designs like book cover designs. Look at that, so cute. So the next one is this the sale up by Paul. Betty. I think this is also a story about a different race than mine. I really like when they put different races in their stories. I think it's pretty exciting. Then the next one that I got will be The Emperor's Children by Claire Massat. And this is <coughs> about Danielle, Marina and Julius are young but New Yorkers living at America's beating heart in the early years of the 21st century. They have been friends since college, but the bonds between them have loosened as their lives, loves, and ambitions have taken each down a different path. So basically, uh, perhaps this is about how people just grow up and lost track of <coughs> uh, they lost track of their friendship. So this is this is it. Then the second last one is this the ticket that exploded by William Burroughs. And I really like how the guy is facing up to the sky right here and he looks a little bit like demented <laughs> and so it's very like artistic so this is about a prophetic vision of a world in which technology has gone haywire oh cool so basically this is about how people predicted how all these robots will take over the world if we are not careful enough so Perhaps that's it. So the last book that I've got, <laughs> funny story, is I went to Big Bad Wolf two times and I got the same exact book on both trips. <laughs> and I remember very clearly that I these are the first book that I first picked when I reached at Big Bad Wolf. On the first day, I picked this, the first book, and then on the second trip, I picked this as the first book. And <laughs> I have no idea why. This is the Never Open Desert Diner by James Anderson, and it's in the top cover. I only got this for 12 ringgit. The dogs are going crazy. So I really like the design, it looks very creepy and mysterious, perhaps that's why I bought this and I bought two of them. <laughs> I'm not sure what should I do with this, should I do a giveaway? So I think I'm gonna give this away and I'm gonna do a giveaway in this, in this video. I think this is gonna be my, f yeah this is gonna be my first giveaway and I'm giving away a book that is so me. <laughs> so, if you want this book, just comment down below what is your favorite book and why. 